Well, it was a pretty brief court appearance at CL. This is right at the end of the case where Ryan Giggs' legal team are giving character evidence uh, to the jury. So Alex Ferguson told the court he was Giggs' manager at Manchester United from the time he was 17 years old until he was 41, how he'd promised Giggs' mother in the early days he would look after him and protect him. And as the winger developed into one of the most important players in Ferguson's team, uh, Sir Alex said Giggs had a fantastic temperament wonderful temperament, to have the career he had in a difficult position he had, to have a good temperament. A best example I had in the club, everyone looked up at Ryan as the number one. And then Giggs's QC said, did you ever see him lose his temper? And Sir Alex said, no. Another character witness was, uh, said Ryan Giggs was uh, very much a gentleman and uh, she said she had never seen him lose his temper or even raise his voice. OK, so uh, what's featured quite heavily in this uh, trial are, are WhatsApp messages. Do they feature today? Lots of messages today over several years. No poems today, but uh, lots of uh, kisses and uh, lots of terms of endearment and also a bit of kissing and making up too. But also the final letter that Kate Greville sent to Ryan Giggs where she says, I know pretty much everything you've been doing with other women behind my back since the day I met you. Ms Greville described Giggs as a compulsive liar and a serial cheat, telling him, my gut always told me you couldn't be trusted. Uh, that was a few days before the alleged assault, uh, which Ryan Giggs denies. He also denies assaulting Kate Greville's sister Emma, and he denies controlling and coercive behaviour towards his former girlfriend. So next week, the case will continue with the uh, closing speeches, summing up from the judge, and then the jury will uh, retire to consider the verdicts.